Hi everybody. Um, it's really good to be with you again. It's great to be able to start the day with a little bit of a thought. So we're working through the fruits of the Spirit from Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 and 23 at the moment. And in that list of fruits of the Spirit we've come to um, patience or as some Bibles translate that uh, forbearance. I love the word forbearance. It's a, it's a word we don't use very much anymore but it speaks of something a little bit more than just being patient with each other. It, it also talks about uh, holding back, um, being restrained, or, or even stopping uh, a reaction. Um, being, just being tolerant, long-suffering, those, I mean, those are words that we have kind of gone out of use and we just talk about be, people being patient or impatient. Um, this is like, if you like, is the pro version of being patient, being somebody who is forbearing. Uh, I like to think of myself as a reasonably patient kind of person, but, but I am conscious that there are times when my patience can get a little, um, a little thin. One of those times is when I'm, when I'm driving and I, I, I find myself getting very impatient with other drivers. Those who drive too fast are crazy lunatics. Those who drive too slowly, well, they're just crazy. Um, the problem with all of that is that that impatience is built on a notion that I have within myself that what I'm doing is perfectly okay, it's, it's even perfect. And actually the reality of the situation is that none of us are perfect. We all make mistakes, we all get things wrong. There are probably times when I drive too slowly or potentially even a little bit too quickly on, on occasion and other people would be feeling the same about me. So that forbearance is driven from a place of knowing that we are not perfect ourselves. That comes, uh, that awareness comes from being filled with God's Spirit and taking on His character. Something to work on whilst we as families are living in close quarters with each other is that we need to be tolerant with each other. Otherwise, being confined in the same house is going to get to be quite hard work very quickly. So let's start today just with a, a short prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for all the things that we can learn from you. I pray, Lord, that you would help us all to be more patient, to be more tolerant, to have forbearance for each other. So Holy Spirit, I pray that today you'd come and fill us again anoint us for the things that we're doing together and bless our time fill us with peace and with your love i pray in jesus name amen have a great day